Welcome to Wait Forward. Come on in and we'll take a look at DuckTales. First step in creating the backgrounds was to, to really study the NES levels. We, we had uh, the NES maps, you know, blocked out. We had the entire map from uh, both a level design perspective and sort of a uh, art layout perspective. We, we looked at the levels and to try to interpret, you know, what the feeling was for something like Transylvania. Um, when you look at the actual original layout, it feels like it's broken into a few different areas. You know, the there's kind of a dungeon underground, very brick uh, area where you have the the spikes. There's the entry entryway, kind of a foyer, and you know, there's like doors and sort of you know some some wood and some like paper wallpaper kind of falling off, and then you know the grand ballroom with the, the red drapes, um, and so we, we really sort of broke down those sections and, and tried to break levels into two to three individual parts and or pieces and and, and unique um, tile sets. So on some levels, it is all just a, a big long, either either a series of rapid trails or a big loops in on itself. And if you'd only know that you could start here and just wander in, um, you could get to the boss right away. And it seemed like, well, what we ought to do is make sure that players see a lot of the, the, the key or most memorable parts of the level. Like Transylvania would be kind of a shame if you never went and did the mine card. So we, we had this mechanism introduced early on to split up the nephews and have you go and find each one and put a little, kind of a mini boss there. I, I personally like the, the kind of cheesy haunted mansion feel of things anyway, so I fell in love with Transylvania immediately, from the mummy to the skeleton duck. I always liked the Transylvania level in the original game, that, that I'd say was my favorite because I liked the music and I always liked the, the bad guys, I love the skeleton duck and the mummy duck, um, so I kind of gravitate towards that in the new game too. When we were first developing concepts and, and the look of the environments, so we were having a hard time but with our, our internal uh, concept artists really trying to nail the Disney style. Um, you know, we have incredibly talented people, but there's there's a certain look. And so we did an internet search, and we were looking up DuckTales backgrounds and, and different concept art, and, and I came across uh, a blog with sketches from the original show, like like thumbnails and, and actual layout drawings from the original show. It all came from one place, it came from this one guy, Mike Peraza, and I thought, well, you know, let's just contact him, see maybe he has a, a stockpile of, of layout art that we can, you know, rifle through and take some photos and scans, and he just wanted to, to work with us. And so we actually contracted him uh, to, to work on the game. And the funny thing about Mike Peraza is he worked on the original DuckTales show, and now he's a Disney Imagineer. For the backgrounds, it was literally like taking, you know, images right from the show and getting to convert them into these 3D environments. Um, so it was it was absolutely a blast getting to sort of cut them up and place them together uh, to create, you know, the the depth that you see in the game. And we would take the individual layers um, of that of that mountainscape and just sort of subtly take out, um, you know, the contours of that mountain. Make the, the forms that are closer to the camera actually come out towards you with really basic geometry, but the effect was actually you know, really powerful. We have an employee who worked at Disney Television as a background painter for 10 years. And so after Mike Peraza would do the layouts, we would give it to our background painter, and he would paint the backgrounds to just look like the show. And he would, he had DuckTales open in the background, we're watching the original episodes, like while he's working on our DuckTales painting. So he, we, we started, rather than just with a concept, we started with what would be a finished background painting for the show, with every detail meticulously like painted. It's funny, it ended up being very similar to the way you know, old cell animation was done, with multiple uh, layers for the backgrounds to start scrolling. So, like, all the paintings are as high quality as you would do for something that would be completely flat and traditional, like some of the past uh, 2D HD games we had done. Um, but, you know, starting with these giant, giant paintings, we had very large textures. So, you know, we're really pushing the, the, the limits of some of these consoles and how much texture memory they have with, you know, all the textures and all the frames of animation and um, the particle effects and, uh, you know, and the, 
result is amazing with this game running at 1080p and 60 frames a second. It's just spectacular.